When the Boko Haram insurgency started in 2009, the entire northeast region, especially the three states of Borno, Yobe, and Adamao, became a serious theater of violent conflict. The group launched several violent attacks in many cities, towns, and also rural communities, schools, mosques, churches, Markets were targeted, attacked, and destroyed. Infrastructure like roads and bridges were attacked and destroyed, severing critical communication between towns, thereby affecting commerce. Electric installations critical to supply of power were destroyed. States like Borno remain without electricity from the national grid for over a decade. By May 2013, thousands of Nigerians have been killed and about 2.3 million others have been displaced from their homes. This situation sparked a serious humanitarian crisis with hundreds of thousands of internally displaced people needing food, water, medical attention and most importantly, shelter. The Northeast region has been devastated and is in need of intervention. The Commission is charged with the responsibility. In fulfillment of the campaign promise made to the people of the Northeast, President Muhammadu Buhari inaugurated the board of the Northeast Development Commission as one of the agencies under the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development. The NEDC Establishment Act 2017 mandates the Commission to coordinate all the interventions by federal ministries, departments and agencies, and indeed other stakeholders. This coordination is expected to be accomplished within the set rules and regulations of the Northeast Stabilization and Development Master Plan. NEDC Managing Director Mohamed Goni Al-Ghali and other members of the management team immediately swung into action to accomplish an important but very challenging task over a vast region that has been practically destroyed. The immediate task before the management board of the NEDC was to address the pressing needs of the internally displaced people, IDPs, found in the six states of Borno Yobi, Bauchi, Adamawa, Gumbi, and Taraba. Food and non-food essential items were purchased and distributed to the states. The NEDC also organized a medical outreach to attend to the crucial health needs of the IDPs. As the NEDC was managing the rehabilitation of the Northeast, the COVID-19 pandemic sadly broke out the NEDC proactively moved in to construct and equip COVID-19 clinics and testing centers. The Commission also purchased and distributed ambulances, ventilators, personal protective equipment, PPEs, and other medical consumables. In addition to these, the NEDC has built and equipped molecular testing laboratories at the Yobe State Teaching Hospital, Damaturu. Bochi State Specialist Hospital, Bochi, Federal Medical Center, Gombe, Adamao State Specialist Hospital, Yola, Taraba State Specialist Hospital, Jalingo. The Northeast Development Commission started the development of the Northeast region in earnest during the second year after its inauguration. In Borno State, the NEDC constructed 1,000 mass housing unit at Ngwom in Mafa local government area under a presidential initiative. The housing project consists of a block of four two-bedroom houses in a cluster fashion and each block is occupying a 400 square meters perimeter. The 1,000 mass housing project at Ngwom has been completed and commissioned by the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Haji Asadia Umar Farouk, on behalf of President Muhammadu Buhari. 
The mass housing project has since been handed over to the Borno state government and subsequently to the beneficiaries who have been resettled in their new homes. The North East Development Commission has performed the groundbreaking of 500 mass housing projects in the other five states of Yobe, Bauchi, Gombe, Adama and Traba. The contracts for the mass housing projects have since been awarded and work has commenced in earnest. The NEDC has built and equipped burn centers at the University of Meduguri Teaching Hospital and the Federal Medical Center, Eola. The burn centers were necessitated by the numerous bomb explosions at the peak of the insurgency. It's starting of the 50 kilometer Wagir Mote in Galdaro. In Yobe State, contract for the construction of 50 kilometers Wagir to Mutai to Ngalda Road has been awarded in addition to many solar power water projects. In Adamawa State, the Kudzum Bridge, which was destroyed during the early days of the insurgency, has been rebuilt and commissioned. The rebuilding of this bridge and others were a collaboration between the NEDC and the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing. Road communication has been restored on this important road that facilitates interstate and even international trade and commerce between Nigeria and other neighboring countries. The Northeast Development Commission has built many classroom blocks for primary and secondary schools in the six states of the Northeast. The Commission has also purchased and equipped thousands of standard desks and chairs to both primary and secondary schools across the six states of the Northeast. These NEDC interventions were subsequent to a need assessment tour and interactions with the state governors. In Bauchi State, three mega schools have been constructed and contract for the construction of the Gombe Abba to Kirfi Road in Bauchi has been awarded. Also in Bauchi State, the NEDC has constructed and commissioned a livestock market in Soro. In Gombe State, the NEDC has constructed an elaborate solar system in the specialist hospital Gombe, which has enhanced the efficiency of service delivery in the health institution. Several farm centers have been constructed in the state in view of the need of the people who are predominantly farmers. Thousands of agricultural equipment like tractors, harvesters, rice planters, and fertilizer were distributed to farmers in all the six states of the Northeast. In Tarawa State, several agricultural nurseries stocked with economic plants and environmental protection tree seedlings have been established. Also in Tarawa State, the bridge along Mayo Daga Road has been constructed. Northeast Development Commission has demonstrated concern for the plight of all the security agencies. In view of the importance of peace to development, the NEDC has purchased and donated various types of operational vehicles to the security forces who are working to provide stability in the troubled Northeast. Since it came on board, the NEDC has also embarked on many peace-building efforts in order to enhance social cohesion, reconciliation, and peaceful coexistence, which is part of the provisions of the Master Plan. The NEDC has established an Information and Communication Technology Center in each of the six states. Over 3,000 beneficiaries, mostly the youths, have been trained in mobile phone repairs, graphics design, and have since established their small businesses and have become self-reliant. In its effort to build capacity and get the citizens gainfully engaged, 
The NEDC, in collaboration with the Peugeot Automobile Nigeria, PAN, has trained over 200 youths in automobile engineering. The NEDC has an ambitious education endowment fund which is targeting scholarship for the students of the Northeast. Six billion naira has been set aside by the NEDC for improvement across all sectors of education like infrastructure development and training of teachers. The Northeast Stabilization and Development Master Plan is an all-inclusive roadmap for reconciliation, rehabilitation, reactivation, replacement, reconstruction, resettlement, renewal, regeneration, redevelopment and sustainable growth in the Northeast region. The NEDC Act outlines the process in two parts. Baseline studies to establish the extent of damages and needs assessment and master plan which produces schemes, programs and projects with costs and timeline. Therefore, this stakeholder consultative meeting with ministers, heads of agencies, departments and security agencies on the Northeast Stabilization and Development Master Plan is very crucial. The NEDC has also been meeting with civil society groups and development partners. Once the master plan is completed and signed, the Northeast Development Commission will be the sole statutory implementing agency of all interventions by all stakeholders for the development of the Northeast region. It is hoped that this interaction will be mutually beneficial and will be for the benefit of the people of the Northeast region who've been battered by over a decade of insurgency.